Meantime, our nation's lawmakers are facing renewed calls once again to take action to prevent another mass shooting. It's a highly partisan issue, typically falling neatly down political lines. 17's Maddie Gannon in studio tonight with more on our lawmakers take. Maddie? Jim, as typically happens, we're seeing Democrats re-energize to pass stricter gun control laws in the wake of the shooting. Many Republicans, on the other hand, are talking about the importance of the Second Amendment. We're taking a look at how Kearns congressmen and four state lawmakers have voted on firearm legislation, including as recently as yesterday. From 2019 to 2022, three significant pieces of gun legislation crossing the House floor. In 2019 came H.R. 8, designed to close the loophole in which background checks aren't required for private firearm sales in some states. I rise for the point of personal Current privilege. Congressman Kevin McCarthy voted no. The bill was passed in the House, but ultimately never brought for a vote in the Senate. If you want to solve this problem, much of this is mental illness. Then, in 2021, a modified version of the same bill, making it back to the House for a vote. McCarthy was a no again. This time, Kern's other congressman, David Valadeo, was back in office, joining McCarthy in a no vote on closing the loophole. For what purpose does the general... Later that year came H.R. 1446, meant to stop what's known as the Charleston loophole, widening the time period in which a dealer can sell a gun if a background check isn't finished. Kern's men in Washington, again, each voting no. The vote's consistent with the congressman's pro-gun record. McCarthy gets an A-plus rating from the National Rifle Association's political pact. Valadeo gets an A-minus. And each men raking in cash from the NRA over their time at the Capitol. According to Federal Election Commission data, McCarthy and Valadeo's campaign committees each brought in more than $25,000 from the NRA Political Victory Fund since the representatives were first elected to Congress in 2006 and 2012. California has the tightest laws of anywhere in the nation, so that doesn't seem to be working. Meanwhile, in California, Kearns Republicans, Senator Shannon Grove and Assemblyman Vince Fong, each boasting a record strongly in support of gun rights. Kearns Democrats, on the other hand, displaying mixed views. Assemblyman Rudy Salas and Senator Melissa Hurtado, each occasionally crossing the aisle to nix more gun control bills in the state with some of the strictest firearm laws in the nation. Yesterday, Hurtado joined Republicans as the only Democrat in the state Senate to vote no on a bill allowing private citizens to sue makers and sellers of ghost guns and illegal weapons. The bill passed and now goes to the Assembly. In studio, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.